Hello everyone, Lucky Knight here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Unturned's map editor. Uh, and what uh, specifically we're going to be working with um, is object placement. So you have the sweet little house you have, and it's looking pretty bland. First of all, how do you get the house there? And second of all, how do you fill it with things? Um, so at the top of the editor you have these four tabs and we're going to be clicking on the level tab and then we'll have three sub tabs objects visibility and players and we're going to click on objects now there are a tremendous amount of objects that are currently in unturned three and the list is growing is seemingly almost every day um, there are so many different items to pick from and what's cool about uh, most of these items is that you'd think it would just have one use. Well, you can substitute the use of <coughs> one object um, for another. Now here we'll take a look at um, this house, which I have just recently decorated. Like in here, um, I think like this bottle up here is labeled as a uh, medicine bottle, but I substituted it as kind of like a laundry detergent bottle kind of like use what you can to to bring it to life um, and like object placements critical and crucial um, the table placement and the books you can change uh, the dimensions and thicknesses of the books and scale them and we'll show you how to do all that um, as we start to decorate our new house that we've placed over here so first you need a structure, right? Like you have just an open lot. You don't know what you're going to do. So there are check marks here next to all of these that can help narrow down the search menu, being as that there are so many different items. So uh, pretty much we'll set it to structures. And it kind of gives you a list of all the structure items that are available. Now, you know, structures actually means the items that can be built by players. So if we look at medium objects, you can see that we have some props. And if we look at large objects, we have um, some buildings that we can place. Um, so to place an object, find what you're looking for click it your selection will become highlighted here in the selection part like click on arena there's arena desert APC desert APC um, so you can kind of keep track of what you're trying to place here and then where you would like the object to be you know, hover your mouse over and then you can press E so there you go there's a small airport building now you can see, um, as soon as I place it there, there's a lot of clipping going on through the floor. So we want to raise that up just high enough to where the clipping ceases. Right? And now you see, oh, look at all that grass that's under there. That's kind of, that's not attractive. Um, so once you've placed the object, you can move it in three different planes. So you can move it up and down, left and right, and forward and backwards. So up and down left and right, forward and backwards. And you can also move the object in two of the vertices at once by clicking on these squares. So if I were to click this square, I change it in both the left and right and uh, forward and backwards. And if I were to click this square, I can move it up and down, left or right. And same here, up or down, forward and backwards. Now I would say that object placement is crucial well now like it seems a little weird that it's off the road but at a weird angle um, if you come over here to this sub menu you have uh, three different ways to orient the object um, so right now we're currently on the transform tab or you can press Q to quickly transist to it uh, there's also rotation so if you click on W it will change you to the rotation. And on this one you have three different axes that you can rotate it on.
Okay, so we want it to kind of face the road probably. And of course, you know, we don't actually have an airport here, but this is just for uh, demonstration purposes on how to place the building. So now we have it kind of where we'd like to have it. Um, we do have these details, the grass that's going underneath it. Now typically if you go into train, click on materials, um, you can go ahead and bake it with the building there. And usually, you see how it baked the terrain to have dirt underneath it? So now if I were to bake details, it will eradicate the grass going through the floor just like that. Um, otherwise, of course, you can just manually paint the terrain underneath it. Um, if you select manually painted, it will not remove it um, when you bake it. So you can manually paint it to get rid of all of that fun stuff there. Boom, 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 boom. And go ahead and go to your details and bake. Oh, looks like I missed some of the grass under there, but that's the idea. Uh -uh. Just use your materials, and I mean gravel works just as well. dirt path going through there. Okay, and that's how you would place the building. Um, and since we've done that, let's go ahead and I want to clear that out of here. And I would like to go back to the terrain, materials, and bake. So hopefully that should erase that. Oop, there it goes. Alright, now back to our lovely little blank house. So we'll go back to level, objects, and there's also a search function here. Uh, for example, let's see if we can find a door. Although there are a lot of different doors, and I'm not sure uh, that any of them actually apply to what I want. Yeah, that's huge. I don't need that. So we may be able to use like a pine door. I don't know if I like that either. It looks like those are kind of like hatch doors. Well, let me show you how we could use one of these using the object editor. Okay, so we have our door here. Um, we're going to want to rotate it up. We're going to want to move it up. And then we'll bring it over here next to the house. And then we can kind of bring it down a little bit. And there you go. I uh, want to change the rotation just slightly. And then we can move it over and in just a bit more. And change the rotation a little bit. There, that's not too bad. Okay, well, let's see what else do we need. So this, we'll, we'll make this entry room be like the living room. So we want a couch in here. So we'll search for couch. I want a green couch. I think that would be nice. So um, when you click on an object, you can click it again to de-click it. Like if I were to click this and try to place my door, boom, no good. I always control Z if I do make that mistake. Um, so if I accidentally click onto the house, and even if I'm in the house, like pretty much the only thing you can click on 
is the house. So if you click on the house again, you can then place your couch inside the house. And you can see it's through the floor a little bit, so we'll move it. Uh, let's see. Perhaps we'll s rotate it just a bit like... Actually, you know, that should be fine. And we'll actually take it and we'll move it this way just a touch. No, no, no. I like it like this. We're going to go like this. That's the fun part. You get to arrange it exactly how you like, however you want. Okay, so then we'll put... Television here. Do, 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 do. Now I think that this television is like way too big. So what do we do about that? <coughs> well, if you go to our menu here on the left again, um, you will find that there is a scale button. So you can press R. You press R and you get this s tool. Now with this tool, um, again, you can change the dimensions of this object in three different planes, up and down, left and right, forward and back. Um, so like we can make it come out super far, which is kind of weird for a, a television. We could sink it in. And we can also widen it, make it taller. Now, what we could also do is um, if we are to let's say go to our scale tool you can select the middle box and that will actually no nope, that's not the middle I accidentally clicked a different plane so if you use the the middle box here you can see it adjust all three of those planes um, to scale at the same time. So there, I have a much more modest television set. Um, there. And maybe we'll scooch the couch over just a, just a hair, kind of line it up a little bit better. So then we're going to want to take like a, a table. I think a table would be nice in there, a little coffee table. So we have all sorts of tables. Um, actually, this would be perfect, I think. Um, some of the objects, they don't scale. It's super unfortunate. This one does. Um, if they don't, like as soon as you try to like click off of it, let me see if I can find one that doesn't scale. Okay, so like if I were to try to go out, it go immediately goes right back to its original form. I don't know why this is, but it is. It can be frustrating, but there are objects that are scalable. And so what I think I want to do is make it kind of an oval, longer table. And I can press E in front of that. That's not too bad. Uh, we'll move it just a little bit this way and now a few other details we'll find like a newspaper boom I'll plop that onto the wooden table and we'll scale it down just a bit There you go. Fits on the table just fine. And so that is how you can customize your unturned map with all kinds of lovely objects. Right? Um, oh, that's interesting. The, the house. <laughs> I must have uh, moved that house. But yeah, that's how, what it would look like without the house in place. So I could go back to, I think it's apartment, is what that building was. So now I could try, ooh, that one's huge, to find which one it was. Nope, definitely not that one. Also not that one.
And as you can tell, there are just so many different options. Is this the one? Mm, no, I don't think it is, is it? What was that, six? Oh, I think we're getting close. Or not. There's so many different choices. Hmm. I didn't see it in there. Well, anyways, that's the idea. I'll just uh, exit the map without saving to get that house back into place. Um, if you are curious about, like, oh, hey, what is that object? I forgot. I put it in there a million years ago. You can hover over the object, and it will tell you, like, for example, this is fence wood number two. Um, so if you're like, oh, hey, I wanted to add on to that fence. Where can I find another piece for it? You can hover over it. Okay, and search for fence wood number two. Or, oh, the bed one is the red bed, right? Or, oh, let's see what color. Oh, the blue bed, that's bed four, right? So you can use that to um, help you figure out which items which. I mean, you get this huge list, and you have no idea what any of them look like. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching this, guys. I hope it's been very helpful for you. Um, leave any comments below about what you'd like to see and what objects you'd like to have placed in uh, the map that I'm building. I've been building this map for quite a while. I'll do a, um, a video tour of it here um, to kind of show you everything that I've put in so far. But this is just one of the little um, nuggets of a town that I have put onto it. Um, Alright, well thanks a lot for watching guys, and have a great day.